Hello and welcome to New School Piano Channel. My name is William. I hope that you are doing great. I am doing well. It is late here in Montreal, two in the morning to be exact, almost two in the morning. And I do apologize for my tears for fears lighting right now. Uh, it's very dramatic, but um, I'm having a hard time with my lighting, so that's the best I can do. So I do apologize. Uh, you can see my hands pretty well, so that's what's important. Um, so I'm very excited, very happy, because I, I really like doing these things where when it's late at night, everyone's sleeping, I'm in the studio, I'll study a song. I'll, I'll take a piece that I really like. I'm into films a lot, so I watch a lot of movies. And I was watching a couple of days ago American Beauty, which is a masterpiece. Loved it. I, I've seen it a few years ago, but I wanted to watch it again. And there's a scene in that movie, uh, commonly known as the plastic bag scene. And Thomas Newman made the score for that movie, and it's a great score. That scene, to me, is in the top 10 scenes of all time, in my opinion. It's a such a powerful scene. It's, it's it Always, every time I watch it, it brings me to the exact same mind state. It's like an introspective state where you're just in a complete, like... You go so far in your mind watching that scene. It's insane. And I wanted to know why. Why is that song? I mean, the visual is great for sure. Don't get me wrong. But the song, though, the song is so good. The piece is so good. It's perfect for the scene. So let's dive into it and see why. I, I'll try to do my best to analyze why it puts us in that state. So let me play for you first, okay? Uh, it sounds something like this. I won't play it exactly as in the movie. I'll try. I'll do my best. I didn't play it as well as I wanted. Anyway, that's you get the point, right? If you've seen this, the, the scene, it's something like that, along those lines. It's so powerful. It's so good. It's such a great progression, such a tasteful melody. It's insane. All right, so why? So first, the progression, right? The one minor to four major. Kind of classic... It's, I mean, you hear that a lot, uh, which just made me think of Mad World, right? That song, it's exactly that one minor to four major, right? And it's, it's the Dorian mode as well, which is the sharp six. Instead of playing that six here, you sharpen it. Right, so it's actually the third of the major four. Right, so that's 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 some of it. That's probably the main, the foundation of of that progression of that piece. But it's so much more than that because if you would have played that, it's very nice, it's beautiful, but it doesn't put me in the same space, right? So there's a lot more that goes into it. Second thing that I've discovered is that if you noticed my left hand now the bass line I'm not sure if that's what you actually plays but I play like that which I play octave G's so it's actually a C minor inverted in its uh, uh, thir uh, third position but what happens is that we're not playing the minor third at all never So is it minor? Is it major? We don't know. We actually don't know. So he leaves that out. And that what actually what I discovered is that right now I'm writing uh, uh, music for a short film here in Montreal. And I'm always trying to find the correct mood and the correct... And I always start on the piano, right? And I'm always packing my chords with all these notes and trying to find the chord but sometimes stop adding note and notes and remove some 
Leave some stuff out. Leave some room for interpretation, right? That's what he does. And I think that's one of the biggest, uh, uh, it's, it plays a big role in the feeling of that scene, right? We don't know yet. If I play nothing here, is it major and is it minor? We don't know. There's no thirds. But we play the fifth, the root, and the seventh, right? Is it, would it be a major third or minor third? Right? We don't know. He leaves that out. So genius on that part. Right? So that's the first thing. And then he plays that flat five. So that Dorian note, right? That sharp six. But he plays on top of an E um, uh, E flat without a third uh, again. Ugh. That's so nice, right? That's that's that flat five. So if I play, uh, let me just. Uh, sorry about that. I just want to restart your brain. So if I play that chord, right? It's it's like it's the, that note, that Dorian note, that sharp um, six. Or if you just take a chord, right? That flat five of a chord is the note. Right? That D over, that G sharp major, if I play a D. Right away, I'm like in this mystical, uh, mysterious state of mind. Uh, like Walt Disney, E.T. and all of those movies, the John Williams. and They use the Dorian a lot. And that's that note, that flat five. Or the Dorian note, the, the sharp six of the scale of the mode. So he plays that note, right? So see here what I'm playing. I'm playing that um, E flat, uh, E flat without a third in its third inverted position without the third, and I'm playing that flat five, and then I am landing on that F major that third so he kind of disguised that progression so well he went around that note he kind of brought us in that note right he knew i think he knew he wanted to go there right and he just what he made a little tasteful detour all right so if i play it again So it's kind of we're going somewhere, we're not sure, and bang, we're landing on that four major. So he's leaving the third out of the first and the second chord to land on that four. And another thing that he does, um, you know, in horror movies, the high register on a keyboard or in music in general is usually associated with, I think, with um, childhood. I think of nursery rhymes. I think of, you know, a, a child voice is very, so it's very high register. Um, you know, kid toys, you know, when, when you, you hear like horror movies, right? Something like that, right? We, it's very high usually and very low. Right, we're combining the lowness, you know, like a, a, a lion growl. It's very powerful. It's, 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 it, yeah, it invokes power. Um, so we're playing low register and very high. Combining this scares the shit out of me, right? And scares the shit out of a lot of people. That's why they do it, right? So the high register is, I think, is designed for that, for comfort, for childhood, for. For, for melancholy to you know bring back all those things and now we're leaving everything out there's no low register if you if you watch the scene there's nothing in the low end it's simply high register right so it's just one octave above middle c so i think that combining that so low register no no bass no nothing nothing there so we're leaving a lot of information out, 
plus in the chord we're leaving information out, plus that progression, plus that flat five or that Dorian note, and the space in between the chords, right? When, when he plays... Now, now that's when you go, well, uh, that's when you have so much time to go in your mind and start thinking about so many things. He's not, you know, if he would, if he would have. I mean, it's, it's, it's cool. It's more rhythmic but doesn't have at all the same feel. So space as well and between the chords, take your time. Let people fill in the gaps, right? Here, look at all the space. So there's there's a lot of space, and that's that is uh, another another thing that participate in that beautiful beautiful song. All right, so that's what that's what I that's what I got. I don't have anything else. So if there's any music wizards out there that knows a lot more than I and that can add stuff to that composition that actually adds up to this, I mean mind bending I, i don't know it's 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 probably one of my favorite compositions from a movie so um so yeah i mean there's maybe there's other reasons um why uh, but that's the ones that i could find um all right so my name is william i really hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful maybe some of you gave you some ideas thanks for watching guys My name is William. Please subscribe, hit that bell button and try to, uh, I always try to post as much things, as much videos as I can. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.